What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best video export settings when you're exporting to YouTube. So this is only gonna take a couple minutes. Um, I'm actually gonna hop onto my computer to walk you through all the steps that you need to take for exporting a video. And I know that the worst thing in the world is when you spend so much time working on a video, you go to export the video, you might be a little confused about which boxes to check off when you're exporting the video, and suddenly the video turns out to look like crap because maybe something wasn't quite right when you're exporting the video. So in this video, hopefully, I'll help you out by showing you some of the things that you want to set up for when you're exporting your videos. So let me hop on my computer now and I'm going to walk you through it and you should be able to figure this out. It's uh, quite easy, you'll find. So let's go do that right now. All right, so you might already be aware that I use Premiere Pro, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to create my videos. So if you're not using Adobe Premiere Pro, it's no big issue. Uh, there's still going to be a lot of the similar uh, things for this for when you're exporting your video. So stick around for that in case you're not using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do, obviously, just click File and Export and Media. And so now here is our page that pops up. Uh, you want to make sure that your format is on H.264. That's what YouTube uses. Uh, so just make sure you're staying on H.264. And then your preset for this, um, you could keep it at a um, high bitrate match source but I always uh, uh, select the YouTube preset on here, so YouTube 1080p. Uh, and obviously, if you're shooting in 4K, you're gonna wanna click the 4K preset. But for myself, YouTube 1080p HD, and then change your output name to something uh, of a decent uh, name. So I like to make mine really long um, and very, very descriptive so that I can find it later on. Uh, when I'm trying to upload this video to YouTube. So change your output name, and then there's gonna be a few things you're gonna wanna do in here. So for effects, we don't have to change anything, but you wanna click on video here, and first of all, make sure that this is uh, the correct dimensions. It probably should be, though. And um, you're going to want to scroll down, and then you're gonna see these bitrate settings. So you wanna change this to VBR 2 pass. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's just a better thing to do. And then change your maximum bitrate all the way up as high as it goes. Uh, for this, it's 62 and a half for mine. It might be a little bit different on yours depending on what kind of equipment you're using. But, um, and then you're going to want to kind of check out your target bitrate. Um, and you can take note that uh, right now my estimated file size is 565 megabytes. But if I change this target bitrate, so let's say I just slide this over here to 26. Now all of a sudden it's, it's 937 megabytes. If I slide it all the way over for my target bitrate all the way up, it's gonna be like two gigabytes um, for my file size, which is honestly just too large of a file size. So let's go back to something uh, like how it was in the beginning, maybe move it up a little bit to about 20 or so. It really doesn't matter too much, um, just as long as you're not having it all the way down here. Um, so just kind of keep it towards the middle, um, upper middle, depending on how much time you have to export this video. I know you probably certainly don't wanna be sitting around for, for three hours while you're trying to export this massive file, um, and you're really not gonna see that, see that much of a difference in video quality. So just leave it somewhere around the middle. Um, that's probably about good right there. And then you're just going to want to select, uh, use maximum render quality. Obviously, you wanna have the best render quality possible. Um, and then the rest of this stuff should already be set um, for, for your video. So if you click on audio, uh, you should see all this stuff should be fine how it is. Um, the multiplexer, you want to make sure you're an MP4, but all of this, like I said, should already be um, established. You probably don't have to change any of these settings. Um, and so once you're done with all that, you can just click export. You can also press uh, uh, quo, but you can press export and you're going to be exporting your video. So now we're exporting the video. And that's that. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, just let me know down in the comment section below because I know you can certainly have a lot of issues with Premiere Pro. I, I mean, I still have issues almost every time with Premiere Pro, and I've been using this for years, but there's just so many things that can pop up uh, that, that take a while to figure out, and you have to start Googling things, you have to get on the phone, talk to people, just to figure this out. Um, so if you have those types of questions, any issues with it, let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you. Hopefully, I can give you the answer, um, but you know, I don't know every single thing about Premiere Pro. But when it comes to exporting your videos, uh, this is a good way to do it. This is how I do it for my videos, and I'm not gonna lie, I think that my video quality is, is really not too terrible um, 
for shooting 1080p. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I'll see you next time.